We have been in Salento now for four days and we finally got some sun. It's been cloudy and rainy every day. So we're really excited because we can finally see this place in all its glory. We've made use of the rainy days anyways, but today we're going to go on the famous hike to the Valle de Cocora yes. and uh, we're going to go get some amazing views of the wax palm trees. So we're just going to have breakfast first here at the hostel and then we're going to go get a willy, which is like a jeep, to take us to the valley. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, the truck just dropped us off here at the Kokora Valley and we paid about 11 or 12 bucks for the whole vehicle but we shared it with two other travelers so it wasn't so bad to get out here privately and now we're going to start the hike. We're deciding which way to go. We're either going to go straight up to the viewpoint and back down or we're going to do the really long loop um, but we heard some people got lost so we're going to we're going to decide. Uh, you guys know the goats. We're going <laughs> to get lost. If we go that way, we're going to get lost but it seems funner and it's a beautiful looking yeah. walk behind us. Like, look at that. Okay, so let's decide. Long way? Long way. Long. This is a luck. real this is a real decision. We didn't just plan this know. before this. Okay, let's go okay. the long way. Yeah. Wish us luck? Okay, wish us luck, yeah. Okay, so we started along the hike here in the Kokora Valley. And we got this from our hostel, which is a list of directions actually, so hopefully we don't get completely lost. We just read over them and they seem pretty easy to follow. But so. we met a couple who literally took nine hours <laughs> instead of five because they got lost, so. Uh, so we're hoping this is better instructions than they had. <laughs> um, but so far it's beautiful, we're just heading down and I'm sure we have a lot of up today, so. Yep, vamos. Vamos. Okay, we've only been hiking for about a half hour, but I already feel pretty tired. We've both been sick for the past like few days, so this is feeling a little bit extra hard. Feel it in the throat. Oh, but we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> Fellow hikers just told us that there's a beautiful view down here of a waterfall. Uh, even though we're exhausted and the hike's already going to be like five hours, we thought it's probably worth to come check this out. So I'm almost there. This reminds me of the sketchy bridges in Nepal. Yeah. <laughs> These bridges are a little bit sketchy to say the least. I don't know why I'm filming while crossing it, but oh shit. but they're really rickety and hilarious to walk across. Luckily they're not over huge canyons or something. We crossed about five or six suspension bridges and a couple wooden bridges and we came to this junction with the sign behind us here. Yeah, so if we want to go to Akaime, which is for the hummingbirds, we go right. Yeah. And we think that if we just want to head up into the loop back and see the viewpoint and come down, we're supposed to go left. So we think <laughs> it's up this hill. Hopefully we don't get lost. Uh, we've seen lots of hummingbirds, so we heard Akaime is nice, but you don't have to go up there if you know hummingbirds. So we're going to head this way. <laughs> okay. Okay, wish us luck again. <laughs> <laughs> We've been hiking now for two hours and 15 minutes. Going up quite a steep incline right now, but it's, it's beautiful scenery. It is, yes, and we are uh, pretty tired, but if you look up behind us there, <laughs> you can see a house. I guess that's kind of like a resting point. You can pick up some water and stuff there, so we might stop in yeah. to stock up on some stuff and then... Nice views as well to enjoy, and then we'll just carry on to the main lookout point with the wax palm trees. We 
finally made it up to this farmhouse, La Finca de Montaña, and it's at 2,860 meters elevation. Yes, yeah, so now we've got about five kilometers to make it to those palm trees, but I, I don't think we're going up anymore, so. You don't think so? No, I think it's pretty straight or down. Oh, yeah, actually, you can see there's like a nice road. So I think we follow this nice road all the way now, which will be good on the legs. We didn't get lost. Yeah, don't feel oh, it don't now. Don't feel it now. Okay, okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. We're hoping we still. Oh, 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 <laughs> he doesn't like goats, that dog. He doesn't like goats at all. Okay, looks like I got a little butterfly friend here. <laughs> and he seems to be sucking on the sweat on my arm. But we actually just got the first sight of the palm trees. They're called Quindillo wax palms. And they're from this region and they're also the national symbol and the national tree of Colombia. They're enormously tall because we can see them above every other tree. So we're gonna go check them out, get closer and see what they look like. Yes. It was almost exactly five hours for us to do the entire loop. Uh, we also stopped quite a few times, took some videos, took some pictures. Um, I, but I don't think it was too hard. Like anybody could do it. You don't have to be super fit. You have to be a little bit fit, but it's not bad at all. I think anyone that comes up here should definitely come check out this valley. Yeah, the views are amazing as well. Bring sunscreen, lots of water. Bring a snack uh, or two. An umbrella if it's raining. Yeah. But. Yes, but definitely worth it. So now we're just going to take the Jeep back to the hostel. Yes. That's another episode of Goat Life TV. See you guys next week. See you guys. Bye.